In this lesson, I'll be covering virtualization certifications, both from VMware and Microsoft. I'll talk about the VMware and Microsoft virtualization websites, blogger websites, podcasts, videocasts, and video training, all that you can use to learn more about virtualization. So with that, let's get started. One of the best ways to learn more about virtualization and prove your knowledge to yourself, to your manager, and even to a hiring recruiter is to get a certification in virtualization. By far, the most popular virtualization certification is the VMware Certified Professional, or the VCP. There's over 80,000 certified VMware professionals just in the few years that the certification has been around. Recently, VMware added some more advanced certifications on top of the VCP called the VCAP, or the VMware Certified Advanced Professional. There's two different types of VCAP certifications. There's the DCD and the DCA. The DCD is the Data Center Designer Certification, whereas the DCA is the Data Center Administrator Certification. The DCD, as you would guess, is testing your knowledge of designing a virtual infrastructure, whereas the DCA tests your knowledge of actually administering a virtual infrastructure and performing configurations. The DCA is a very hands-on exam where you're actually accessing a real virtual infrastructure and you have to make real configuration changes that you're tested on. Besides these VMware certifications, there's a number of others that they've recently added, such as the VMware Certified Design Expert, or the VCDX, and the VCA, which is the VMware Certified Associate. To learn more about the qualifications and requirements for these VMware certifications, visit the VMware Education Certification homepage. Microsoft also has a couple of certifications in virtualization. They have the MCTS in virtualization, which is the Microsoft Certified Technology Specialist. It covers Windows Server 2008 virtualization configuration. And the MCITP, or the Microsoft Certified IT Professional, that specializes in virtualization. And it's really more of an enterprise administration certification specializing in virtualization that requires much more than the MCTS. For more information on Microsoft's virtualization certifications, visit the Microsoft Education Certification homepage. Besides the VMware and Microsoft certification homepages, they also have some great information on virtualization. Microsoft and VMware are really the two leaders when it comes to virtualization and cloud computing. On both the Microsoft and VMware virtualization homepages, you'll find information such as ROI calculators, case studies, educational videos, pricing, and extensive product information. For more information, go to Microsoft.com slash virtualization or VMware.com slash virtualization. Besides manufacturer websites, there's also a lot of independent bloggers out there that offer excellent and very high quality information about virtualization. They offer how-to articles, tips, news, product information, and real-world stories about how virtualization has been used. Some of those blogs are listed here, but there's literally hundreds or even maybe a thousand or more different virtualization blogs. Of course, TrainSignal has a very nice technology blog where I write articles about virtualization. It's trainsignaltraining.com. My personal website is vmwarevideos.com, where I post primarily videos related to VMware and Microsoft virtualization. Eric Sloof, who is a VMware certified instructor, has an excellent website called ntpro.nl where he's always posting the latest and greatest how-to articles and videos on VMware virtualization. Duncan Epping, a well-known author and uh, blogger, has a great website as well called yellowbricks.com. Duncan, being a VCDX and a VMware employee, always has some excellent, uh, many more advanced uh, VMware tips related to virtualization. VMware has also done an excellent job of aggregating or combining uh, the multitude of virtualization blogs together into one blog, which is a list of all the articles posted about virtualization on the internet. That blog is called Planet V12N. Uh, V12N actually stands for virtualization, and there's uh, about a hundred or so blogs that are actually aggregated into that one. So if you're just going to go to one source, VMware's Planet V12N is the best place to go to view all the news across all the virtualization blogs. Eric Siebert, a well-known book author and video author for TrainSignal, has an excellent vSphere virtualization website called vSphereLand.com that you should check out. 
One of the things that Eric has done is to create a survey on the top virtualization blogs, and every year he publishes that survey on the top 25 virtualization blogs, and then he aggregates those blogs on his website. Finally, there's a very strong virtualization community on Twitter, so you can get news about virtualization real time, you can get answers to questions, and talk to many of these expert bloggers real time over the internet. I've created a Twitter list that contains about 500 virtualization experts, and you can subscribe to that list right there at that twitter.com slash davidmdavis slash list slash virtualization URL. There's also a lot of great podcasts and videocasts related to virtualization. VMware's John Troyer hosts a weekly live community podcast where people can dial in from around the world and learn about VMware's virtualization. There you can also ask questions of virtualization experts or the guests that he has on the call. If you can't make the call that's every Wednesday at noon Pacific time, you can also listen to recordings of that call over at TalkShoe and via Apple iTunes. I publish a periodic virtualization podcast that we call a VChat with virtualization experts Simon Seagrave and Eric Siebert. This is a recorded video conference call where we discuss the latest happenings in virtualization. You can check out past recordings over at vmwarevideos.com slash vchat. Cody Bunch, who runs professionalvmware.com, hosts weekly periodic certification-related live webinars that he calls brown bags. If you can attend one of those brown bags, it's a great way to ask questions related to virtualization certification. And if not, you can listen to those recorded brown bags later over at his website, professionalvmware.com. Finally, Mike Laverick posts a periodic chinwag. A chinwag is really just a video discussion or a video conference call related to virtualization between him and another virtualization expert. You can watch his chinwags over at rtfm-ed.co.uk slash category slash chinwag. And finally, I couldn't end a lesson on learning more about virtualization without mentioning video training from trainsignal.com. Trainsignal is the leader in video training for IT professionals, and one of our specializations is in virtualization. In fact, we have the most complete VMware vSphere video training library that you'll find anywhere from anyone, including VMware. We have over 100 hours of vSphere video training, and we cover certification topics uh, included in the VMware VCP, the VCAP certification, and we also have special videos that cover troubleshooting, power CLI, performance, and more. Besides that, we have a Hyper-V video training course, Citrix virtualization video training courses, and every course is available via instant streaming over the internet when you make the purchase and you'll also receive those DVDs in the mail so that you can watch them offline let's say on an iPad while you're on an airplane uh, or listening to your mp3 player in the car I hope you'll check out all the virtualization video training from TrainSignal over at www.trainsignal.com